Hi, my name is Peter Finn and I'm the project manager for the Telemark Programmable Sweep. Today I'm going to show you the Programmable Sweep Editor in Windows. The first thing you'll need to do is connect your Programmable Sweep to your PC with a USB cable. Once you've done that, it, your sweep should say host mode on the touch screen. Next you'll want to go to connection and find ports. If you move over to COM port, it should come up with the number. There will be other uh, numbers there probably. Uh, and then go to connect. Once you've done that, down here it should say COM ready with the number uh, that on your system. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the file manager. Um, you want to do a full backup once you have your sweep set up so that if you ever need to restore it uh, you won't have to do that from scratch. So we'll press full backup. The backup files are dot backup and by default it's in the document folder but you could so so store these other places on your network uh, or uh, USB drive. So I'm going to give this a number. Here you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to say save. And so now it's copying all the settings of all the patterns and onto this file. So I'm going to pause now. All right, and now it's completed the backup. It says full backup complete. Now if we want to restore the full backup, we go to full restore and select the backup that we want to restore. Now, of course, remember this is replacing all the settings on the sweep. Once you have finished making a backup, you can restore from that backup either a pattern or a shape. And you go there and select the number in the that was on the sweep, and you can restore it right from the backup file. You can do the same thing with the shape. So now we need to talk about shapes. The, this area here is the full area of the shape uh, that you can use. Uh, you don't want to make some little tiny shape right in the center. This, this is not the pocket. This is the shape. And you, so that's why you want to use the full area. Uh, so you can individually change these points by just clicking on the mouse. You can type in numbers. It, the uh, limit is uh, 200 in any one direction. You can uh, delete it. You can delete a step. Uh, or you can add a step. If you add a step, you end up with two points at, at that same spot. Uh, so you can move that a little bit, or you can just leave it uh, as sort of a dwell time in that one location there. Uh, each, each dot uh, represents a, a, a time, and so if you were to move from here to here, that's going to be a really slow movement as opposed to moving from here to here, which is a greater distance. Once you've made a shape, you can give it a name. So we'll type in down here a name. And now you can, you can save it to a file. So I give it a new name and save. Now there's two types. There's shape and comma separated. So first I'll save it as a shape and now I will uh, save it as a comma separated. And I save that. Um, now the, the comma separated is a text file that you can edit. So if you go back here and find that shape that we just made we can go down 
here and open with uh, Notepad. I'm going to bring that in over here so you can see there's the shape name independent of the file name. And then here's all the values. So we can go in here and we can put in new values. Remember that all the points need to be uh, less than 200. And so 400 is no good. You can only do 200. And then we can say save. And we'll so now you want to load that one that we just mod modified. We'll go to load shape from file. We'll bring this over here and we want to change that to comma separated and there's the comma separated one and you'll see there's the tw negative 12 200 that I added. We'll open that and so now that has been added into this file. So next we want to actually use these shapes on the sweep controller. So uh, first we can look at uploading shape from the sweep and so we can click on one of the shapes that's already existing on the sweep and that will bring that up onto the screen here if we want to save uh, that to the sweep then we want to select what number it is on the sweep so we could take this same one that we we got from number one and send that back to number two on the sweep and so now it's going to uh, download that and we hit OK and so the, the last thing here is the updating the sweep software uh, that is a dot hex file that uh, we we have new releases is available from Telemark. You can play to the latest software using that.